Hey there, Hannah Wegner here. So for today, I am going to be showing you how to make two of my most delicious and favorite things for my um, cool, crunchy tacos. Now, this is gonna be like a Baja flavor explosion in your mouth. Um, it's gonna be so delicious and you're gonna love it. So it's a little fruity, it's creamy, it's got herbaceousness, it's got the citrus, it, you're just gonna love it. I'm gonna show you how I do it. So first things first, let's start with our mango salsa. So up here, I've just got some cilantro stems and red onion in here. Now I'm going to add my mango and this is our um, uh, <laughs> measure all colander, I think. So it's great because you can put it on the side of the sink and just let it drain. I actually did that before this video. Um, and you can also measure. So if you need three cups of berries, you just fill it up to three cups and you can strain as you go. So that's awesome. I'm going to put my mangoes in here. Now mangoes are not really in season right now. So I use canned most of the time but when they are in season oh my gosh this is just to another level delicious next i've got jicama now comment below if you've ever had jicama before it is this i don't know how to describe it it's sort of sweet but not sweet like mangoes um, it's very crunchy and it's just an interesting texture so i'm going to put probably about just half of that in there don't need all of it and then i'm going to um add some salt from one of these and you guys i got this at i think my mom got this at home goods um but if you don't have a ramekin for salt you're totally missing out because it's just easy to pinch some in there so we're putting a generous portion of salt in there and then next i'm going to put some cilantro so this is our herb um herb <laughs> mill that's what it's called i wanted to say keeper but that's not right so all these pieces come apart dishwasher safe and in here i've got my cilantro and it has this little ceramic it's not ceramic it's a hard ball that's in there and the reason it has this so i'm going to shut this down is that the ball pushes down on the herbs so that you can shake it and then you get i hope you're seeing that you get all of this amazing herbaceous delicious in there so it's pushing the cilantro through right? So you're able to get that finely, finely, finely milled cilantro. And you just do this and it gets pretty clean, you guys. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but look at how clean that is. We might not be able to get that one leaf because I accidentally clipped it to the side, but look how fast that was. And I've got that beautifully milled cilantro. And I like to make these first because these are the things that their flavors kind of need to meld in order for it to taste delicious. So I'm going to be serving this with some chicken and with rice and black beans. And I love this because look, you can start as you start to mix it, you get that pretty red onion and you get the yellow mango and the green. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. So incredible. So I'm just mixing that up so that I can get it all done. And now that's like finished. So that's what I'm serving for today. Delicious, right? Um, and next I'm going to make this like creamy sauce mixture. So right here, I've just got mayonnaise. Ooh, you can also use Greek yogurt or uh, sour cream if you want, but I really like the mayonnaise. I think it has a um, nice mouth feel feels nice as you're eating it. So I've got a lime here. Oh no, I'm so silly. Um, I, <laughs> I, accident, I was supposed to zest it. Okay, well, we're going to try to zest half a lime. We'll see if we can do it. And I'm using our microplane uh, grater. This is great for, it's great for um, things like, you could even shave chocolate chips, but it's great for hard cheeses like um, Parmesan, Asiago, Romano, things of that nature. And it's also great for um, zesting limes and lemons. So I've got all this zest on here. And as you can tell, none of the white pith has come off. So I'm going to add that zest and I'm going to try to get as much off of this other side as I can. Pro tip, don't cut your lime in half before if you're supposed to use the zest. It makes it so much harder. So I've got that. And then I'm going to take our citrus press. Now this is awesome because you're going to get every last um, piece of juice here. So you want to put it like that. So round part up. Not this. You're going to shoot your eye out, okay? So... Um, I'm going to put this in with my mayonnaise and I hope you guys saw all that juice that I got out of there. Like, look at that completely demolished, just completely crunched it in half. 
Look at all that juice that you get. So this is gonna be like bam in your face limey. And I'm gonna add some seasonings to this. So this is our chili lime seasoning. It's delicious. I love it. Very, very flavorful. So um, I'm just shaking a little bit in there, but if you wanna add like maybe a teaspoon, that would be good. Or there's a line in, in the cap. So half the cap is a tablespoon and the whole cap is two tablespoons. That's a little tip and trick for you today. And then I'm also going to add some Tex-Mex seasoning. It is delicious. This was actually one of my first loves with Pampered Chef seasonings. I just totally fell in love with this. and I added probably way too much of that. But it's going to be delicious. And then I'm just going to mix this all up together. And this is important. I think this is the most important thing. So if you're going to do one thing first, it would be this little little thing that you gotta make this sauce and now this is just gonna go over your um you can drizzle it on using like our chocolate drizzler or you can just dollop it on like sour cream but it's just gonna elevate your flavors so you can make these as tacos with chicken and rice and beans and some lettuce or you could do like more burrito bowl style whatever tickles your fancy so i'm gonna give you a, one last peek of what i just made and you guys, I know it doesn't look the part, but it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, that's all I've got. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great taco night the next time you decide to make tacos. Bye!